So, loser bracket is going to be very interesting to see because if I'm understanding this right, the finals, um, one of the loser brackets plays in the finals. Yes, the grand finals. So right now we're in semi-finals, uh, Jax is versus G-Man. We've seen this matchup before a, a while back in group stage. Now in the playoffs are coming through. It's Diddy King versus ZSS. Jax is once again on his beloved ZSS. Diddy King. It surprised me to see him picking Zero Suit as often as he does. I think Diddy he must like yes, playing as a more. I think I think it's done better, but I'm not sure what Sheik's advantages against Diddy are, whereas Zero Suits are. Maybe he picked Zero Suits specifically. The last time we saw this matchup wasn't it G-Man versus uh, Brobear. Uh, Bro Bear was stalled, right? Yeah, I Bro see. Bear was playing ZSS, and he got a little bit spanked by Diddy Kong. <laughs> so he he got two out, I think, in under two minutes. Um, that was this is fantastic, and we're seeing a lot of the same stuff here. Diddy well, Kong not giving up anything. I mean, G-Man certainly has the counter play down. He knows how to deal with a ZSS. Diddy is going to utilize his bananas. Bananas will make more deal damage, but they will make characters trip if they walk across them when they're on the ground or the bananas are thrown at them. Just like Mario Kart, if you think about it. Which is beautiful because you want to interrupt ZSS. Yes. You don't want her to get her cobbles, but you want her to trip going after you as soon as ZSS the sooner ZSS stops moving, the better it is for you. Exactly. So uh, definitely this doesn't look very That's good for Jackson right now. Oh, picks up somewhere. the banana and throws it into a combo! Not quite. Instantaneous 60% damage. It them straight up, then it can get them at earlier percentages. Uh, if it goes at an oh. angle, it can... Yeah, well, much can Diddy Kong is gonna land that one. Such a fantastic. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, stun! I haven't seen that happen. Zerosuit is using the up and B a lot here. So just just play style. I don't believe I saw him doing it in that excessively earlier. He must think he can get away with it. You know, the one bad thing about this course is unlike a lilac course, we don't get to see epic battles in the background. Just all wings floating around and maybe a few missiles. That's it. That was a nice deny by Diddy King. Uh, Diddy Kong, excuse me. Uh, Diddy Kong. Diddy Kong. I'm so bad at that name. In the words of Falco Lombardi, it's time to show the monkeys who's boss. Oh, look at that! Look at that! I do believe in Apple Pie. Jaxis just might make this happen yet. Very convincing, down to the last stop. The invincibility frame gave him a spare moment. Grab oh, this time. Ooh, look at go that! that Absolutely top, fantastic. So. so much damage comes out from there. Zero suit tether is a very good recovery. Oh, but kick after kick after kick. Oh, but he gets kicked himself. This could be the end of the game. This could be it, but the recovery. Zero suit is oh, but well he gets grabbed! CSS, very oh nice aggressive oh, that's a smash and that's it's game over. <laughs> Cosmic Looks like Falcon Destroyer. won't be pleased today. Zero suit needs to spend more time playing stuff. G Man is going mental. He's absolutely on fire. He loves eating up. This is a bit disappointing. Jaxus was really well last time. <laughs> Quite amazing. He was. So I'm wondering, I mean, obviously, we've still got the possibility of seeing chemistry. And just the way two individuals' minds work, combined with the characters they choose and create the most absurd magic. You can think a player is good one and completely falter against another one. Right. It's going to be, but I mean... what I love about humans is just how utterly unique they are. Absolutely. No one's going to have all the strengths. You're always going to have weaknesses and that's why every tournament is a new one. Just because you won last time does not mean you can be the same this time. And that's exactly how this is. Just because you won last time you met this player. You not gonna necessarily win. It looks like he's picking up Sheik this time. He's not going to go with the ZSS. Obviously, Diddy Kong, G-Man, has too much experience against that. So he's going to go with something he's hoping. I this was a Sheik to be the easier of the two high-rated characters to deal with. And as we've seen before, Jaxus is obviously very good at Sheik. I yes. would say better than his ZSS. So yes. it's a smart ZSS pick, he's already got him. wise choice to go the match, but just so we can learn how his opponent works right. and then deal with it that from there. Right, and now... Save surprise and mess him up. But now he's, he's got well. 70% on him. Right? I mean, he's... Absolutely. Arguably, he's dominating. Yeah. But we'll have to see as the match progresses. She also doesn't stop. deal a lot of damage when she hits. So that means uh, with a 40% lead... Ooh, it's, look it's at that, large. double crunch. To see around 6% uh, to 10% added with each single content. The moves can very great percentage, of course. This Diddy Kong is making short hops in the approach. 
Uh, Diddy Kong's moves can have wide arcs to them. And the oh. attack is not bad if you hit it on the tip. So trying to get that kill, kill, trying to get Diddy Kong off first so that she can have the advantage and play around a little bit, hit some more, hit and run. Yeah, she could jump it all over the place. Oh know. no! Oh, that was a wild recovery! Just like a ninja, she makes a recovery. Jumping off walls and described by Sir Mario 64. I'm not sure that's where the game came from. <laughs> a pit stool. It that looks like uh, Diddy Kong did some of the other medicine he had earlier. Quite often. Foot yeah, scrolling was not in the it was introduced in the wall, but I think a lot of players really like it. Foot scrolling is arguably one of the most familiar ways to go down. <laughs> and so it looks like Diddy Kong. I'm sorry, I missed that last bit. Obviously, you were casting during the time. He's down a stack now, which means Sheik has the advantage that he wanted. Oh, up to 75%! It's That's it's game! Over. That's game two! We're going to game three! That moving platform was what did him in. Sometimes people get carried away and... It's just... Jaxus... You know, Apple Pie, I do believe he brings it home for game two. We're going to game three. This is fantastic. Every time these two players meet, we have fantastic games and it's completely unpredictable I believe it's in you all Smashville th this is a fan favorite since it was introduced I, I think people like uh, town and city more though well, Smashville was very much liked and raw look going forward to see how this next one turns out neither one's willing to change characters I'm not sure if it's because they don't want to see um, if they feel that the strengths are valued enough. Well, definitely, I think that G-Man was comfortable on Diddy Kong, and he could have won that. Yeah. As so long as the matches are reason. close, you don't necessarily... As long as matches are close, and right. you, you probably should, you would not expect to see them change, unless something was wrong, and they were clearly messing up in situations. They're going to look at the same That's yeah, when they usually yeah, change. Absolutely. There's no reason for them to change. It's all about the player. It's not It's not the character that they're choosing. It's, it's just the plays they're making. Right, right. So, so here we go. Game now. three, the finals. This is the Smash Salem Tournament semi-finals between Jaxus and G-Man, the Cosmic Destroyer. G-Man. Best of five. Thank you, actually. Yeah, I don't know what I'm thinking. <laughs> stupid caster is stupid. No, 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 no. It looks like Sheik up to her old tricks, gaining another 55%. Oh, the, the platform comes up for the save! That's so well, you know lucky. the timing, you can depend on it. Although Absolutely. I'm not sure that's what was going on there. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely right, 78% for Diddy Kong. Sheik looking, but Sheik just gets They're both on. very equal right now. I believe Diddy Kong has so, a larger amount of power. Oh, though. look at that platform come up. Definitely in favor, but look oh, at she that! Oh, Sheik is getting a bit of punishment. <laughs> that... That you know that Diddy Kong isn't using his gun at all. Diddy Kong yeah. has a gun he can charge with the fire, so he knows, but it's just not being used that Look much. Look at this, he's just poking, he's trying to poke him down with an needle. This is ridiculous. <laughs> this is a part of the course we'd probably rather not fight on. Landing yeah. in the water is particularly dangerous. <laughs> Absolutely, very, very neither dangerous. one of them wants to risk it. No one has an advantage, so they're trying to fight on an even platform. Oh, look at that combo! Not Fantastic! Oh, is it? Oh, is it? he missed! Oh. Oh. And Sheik is going for the down throw. Oh, look at that! 116%! Completely beautiful! Diddy Kong seems a little, a little lost to me. No, oh, is that kid? No! It's not a KO! On the beach. There's no oh. chance here, folks. Diddy Kong is out. He loses a stack! Sheik is only has up 92%. There's oh. still a very good chance for the monkey at this point. Absolutely. If the monkey doesn't take too much damage before he can KO Sheik, he absolutely can make a fantastic comeback and, and absolutely win this game, if not the series. Let's take a look now. They're spacing a bit more. Small attacks in there. Oh, look at that. Down. Sheik, wow, so much damage there. picking off left, right, left, right. Constantly. Beautiful shields. Oh, look at this. The kicks. Oh, it's a combo. Oh, 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 game oh, two. No. Game three, excuse me. Dominated by Jaxus. We're going to game four. That was absolutely you awesome. Move, but Looks like Jaxus really has shown the monkeys who's boss this round. He... He knew what he was doing, and he, he, he knew what he had to do. It was beautiful. Off screen, it's a lot harder to dodge it when she goes to that one move. Did you see how he used the same attack over and over and over again to continue knock Diddy Kong forward to the right? It was one to get out of. So, so beautiful. As we said before, 
Now, I would think oh. that G-Man might be reconsidering Diddy Kong after that one because yes, I would say that was a bit of a route, but Jaxus is just showing his proficiency on Sheik yet again. You know, we were talking Sheik about Sheik is a secret earlier. weapon. He pulls on Sheik when he needs him and it wins. Absolutely. And so far, no one in the tournament has had an answer to Sheik. Yeah. He's been trying. I think every single first game he's played has been ZSS because oh, he wants to learn that, he said. But if, if it looks like that's not a favorable matchup, he swaps over to Sheik. Exactly. So, definitely... The most luck I've had against Sheik. Ganondorf. Ganondorf in This is actually a very good idea, in my opinion. Uh, it could backfire. Do not get me wrong. But sometimes on an even playing field where both characters are fast and have range but don't deal much damage, a heavier character is what you need. And this very much could be... This could uh, be the end. This could be the end because, I mean... I haven't oh, seen that alternate beat. You know, I don't oh, like that alternate that. beat. I don't understand people who use it. It looks like Gandalf. Oh, no under the stage. Whatsoever. Oh, he goes for the flame choke, but it's not enough. And he's going to take a lot of punishment because of that. Shield every attack. Oh, look at that chest bump right Ganondorf in the face. Gandalf can take lots of hits and still come back. This is Oh, but look at this. Look oh, at this. Oh, the He goes for the flame choke dodge. to end it all. But it didn't quite go through. Look at this. Up Ganondorf to 75. Ganondorf is getting tossed around. If Ganondorf can pull through, he might come back. Daxus is really dominating here. Look at this. He's Ganondorf just, just not sure what to do. The platforms might be doing him in. She's just really on top. Look at this. It's just all over the place. There's no contestation. He's just running this show. He says, this is my house, my rules. And oh my that's going to be special. I can't one. believe it. What just happened there? They slowly sent him to the zero. This could be it. Uh, I mean, sheep. And then monsters are straight upwards. No. Oh, Gandalf may be the king of evil. Oh, he is look at so that far not damage. the king of smash. But whoa, what is happening with the this stage? The stage is morphing. And we this got is why so many platforms. people do not like Pokemon Stadium, especially in the area with the fans and the oh, I'm not this. sure if the fans are in Smash 4. Is this she Pokemon Stadium too? She has blood on his lips. He can taste it. It's all over. He wants this win. If he can land the one more KO, he oh, has it. it. Ganondorf may not be able to recover from this. Yes, he recovers. But it's made so Ganondorf, is that are you gone? No. He says no. Oh, Goodbye, Sheik. I still have lots of fight left in me. This is unbelievable! There's so much! Come and get some, he said. Oh. You might be the princess of Hyrule in disguise. Oh, she I tries to keep trying to beat her. It doesn't work. Ruler Looking for one, land. one good smash, and either of these are gone. Oh, Ganondorf! And that's game! Jaxus! This is, is the winner! Jaxus reigns supreme. Unbelievable! If there was any doubt about his shake, <laughs> Sheik now, it is completely expunged. An absolutely phenomenal game. It gets you know, that point that was fantastic. So good. You just want to cheer on anyone, though, who you think might have a chance to stop. Absolutely. Can anything stop Jackson? Can anything stop? He's doing amazing these last two rounds. We'll have to see.